So it is my distinct pleasure to formally introduce as the new head basketball coach at the University of North Carolina, Hubert Davis. First of all, I just wanted to thank Bubba and the Chancellor. And Bubba talked a little bit about it, but I, I wanted to thank you for giving me this opportunity and chance. It's, that's, that's just a big deal to me. I had always wanted to be here at Carolina. You know, growing up, I had always wanted to walk out of that tunnel. I always wanted to put on that uniform, always wanted to play for Coach Smith, always wanted to play on this floor, always wanted to get an education here. I wanted to be a part of this community. I wanted to be a part of this history. Being a part of this program was a big deal to me. My uncle was an All-American here from 74 through 77, and even though that I grew up right outside of Washington, D.C., the first time that I set foot on this campus, it just felt like home. Because Coach Smith and Coach Williams gave me that chance and that opportunity to come here, everything significant in my life has happened here. This is where I played basketball. This is where I got better. This is where I went to school and graduated with a criminal justice degree. This is where I met the best friends of my life here. This is where I became a Christian. This is where I fell in love with my wife. This is where I bought my first house. This is where my wife and I got married. And in 2004, when we, I decided to retire from the NBA, we could have lived anywhere we wanted to in the country. And my wife and I decided to raise our three unbelievable, beautiful children here in Chapel Hill. You know, the last nine years coaching under Coach Williams, it hasn't been a job at all. It's been missionary work. It's been an act of service, and I've been so honored and privileged and appreciative of being able to be in this role. That's the way that I felt about Coach Williams. Every time that, and he doesn't know this, every time that he walked through the office, I took a deep breath. because I just felt settled because everything was gonna be okay because Coach Williams was there. He's the greatest coach that I've ever been around. The time that he was here, he's the best coach for this university. He's the best coach for this team. He's been the best coach for this university and the best coach for this community. And I absolutely love him to death. And I'm so thankful for just giving me a chance and giving me an opportunity. I can't believe that he's here today. I was doing some interviews and somebody told me that Coach Williams was in the office and I wanted to get all those interviews done because I just needed to go see him. And I just needed to be around him. I just needed to talk to him. I just needed to be around him. Seeing him connects me to Coach Smith and Coach Guthridge and his presence and his love for this university and this program and what he embodies as a person is something that I have enjoyed and am going to miss being around every day. I wanted to share one text that I got that immediately brought me to tears and it was really special to me. Right after Coach Williams had his retirement press conference, one of the first people that texted me was Coach Larry Brown. I played for Coach Larry Brown my last year in the NBA with the Detroit Pistons and we had a disagreement. I felt like I could still play and he didn't want me to, he didn't want to put me in the rotation. Towards the middle of the year, I requested to be waived and I was waived and I was picked up by the New Jersey Nets and that's how I finished my NBA career. I had not spoken to him or seen Coach Brown since then and I just always felt like Coach Brown didn't like me. After Coach Williams did his retirement press conference, he texted me and said, Hubert, I just wanted to let you know, I would love for you to be the next head coach at the University of North Carolina. And that Coach Smith, the idea of that happening would put a smile on his face. And I just immediately started crying. I gave the phone to my wife and I said, read this. And I said, I thought he didn't like me. And to me, that's just the perfect example of what this place is all about. There's so many people that use catchphrases and different words to describe the, the 
togetherness and the closeness of a program. North Carolina is the standard. There's nobody that has family, nobody that's an example of togetherness and family than here at North Carolina. Today is, this is the first time that I saw my dad in over a year. Because of COVID, he just didn't feel comfortable leaving home. And when he found out that I was gonna be named the head coach of the University of North Carolina, he said, Hubert, he said, Hubert Jr., I, I got my second shot, I gotta be there. He's always shown up. And at 50 years old, He's showing up today. And that's what this program is going to be about. And it has always been about. We're going to show up. We're going to show up. We're going to show up to shoot around. We're going to show up to practice. North Carolina is going to show up every game, every day, every second, every possession. North Carolina will be there. I wanted this job. I w I've always wanted to be a head coach. I just have always wanted to be a head coach only here. I've always wanted to walk the same road, the same path as Coach Smith and Coach Guthridge and Coach Williams. And I'm so excited and humbled and thankful and appreciative and excited to be able to do it with my own personality and in my own shoes. And I'm just very thankful for everyone. It's, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just, just curious, what emphasis will you place on advanced metrics uh, in, when you're designing your, your schemes offensively and defensively? Well, I answer it this way. The foundation um, is set here at Carolina, and it's a foundation that I believe in. It's a foundation that has been tested and tried and proven successful through Coach Smith, Coach Guthridge, and Coach Williams. I've got no desire, I've got no plans of going away from that foundation because I believe in it. And so, yes, things have changed, but Carolina has been tested and tried and perfected and been proven successful through all the years. And the way that we will play will be the Carolina way, and it will be successful even now. I'm curious how you handle, I guess, how you feel about the pressure of walking into a job like this and following a successful coach like Roy Williams has been. Uh, it's obviously a place that means so much to you. Do you feel pressure? Do you just feel excitement? What would you describe in that regard? I don't feel pressure because I'm not comparing myself to anybody. Coach Williams is the greatest. I'm Hubert. And as I said before, the only thing that I need to do is to do this job with my personality and in my shoes. People can say things but it's only really true unless it's backed up by your actions. And over the last nine years, that's who Coach Williams is. That's, that's who he is. And the way that he has run this program and his love for these kids and love for this university and this program and this community has been such an example to me of how to move forward as head coach. In terms of the staff, you can't do this job unless you're a Carolina guy. It's impossible. You can't coach here, you can't recruit here, you can't work here unless you have been here, you've experienced it, you have lived it. And so in terms of the staff, it's all guys that have experienced this place and believe it and have the passion and the desire that all of us have for this university and this program and these kids in this community. Um, it is significant, Steve. It, it, it's significant that 
I'm African American and I'm the head coach here. It, it's significant. Um, I know that in terms of Division I head coaches all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division I men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African Americans. I know that it is significant that I'm the fourth African American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African American. And so as I was an assistant coach over the last nine years, I never thought about being a head coach here at University of North Carolina. And when coach started talking to me about him retiring and his desire and hope for me to want this job, I started thinking about it. And every time that I started thinking about being a head coach of the University of North Carolina, I had a big smile on my face. I was happy, joyful, excited, humbled, and I was ready to go. We, we want talented players. We want big time players that want to play at the highest level, at the highest stage, and this is the place to be. But I also want players that want to be here. So whether you're here one year, two years, three years, unpack your bags and let's get ready to go. Because this place is too special to be thinking about someplace else other than giving your full attention here. And there's a number of kids that will want that chance and would want that opportunity. And I want them here at UNC. Uh, Hubert, I had a different question, but I was given a hot tip that I need to ask you about Walker Kessler and his status. Yeah, I want Walker here. He's a Carolina guy. I've enjoyed being one of his uh, coaches last year. He's a wonderful kid. I can't think of anybody better to be around in unbelievable charismatic personality and somebody that just wants to get better and to work every day. Kessler is a Carolina guy. I had a conversation, I sent him a text last night after everything came out um, that I was gonna be the next head coach and I have a phone call with him later today. And what I'm gonna tell him is I want him back here at Carolina. He's a Tar Heel, he's always a Tar Heel. He needs to come back here and this is the right place for him. We would love to have Walker Kessler and his family back in Chapel Hill and back at UNC. And when I heard that Coach Williams was in his office and he was looking at pictures, the reason why I wanted to go in there was because I, was, I told him, this is the first thing I told him, leave all the pictures up, this is your office. And I told him this for two reasons. This is his office. This is his home. And I want Coach Williams, I want Mrs. Williams, I want all of his children, and I want his grandchildren when they come to games, I want them to go into his office. I want them to go home. And I don't want that to change. The second reason is, and it's selfishly, that'll make me think he's still here. And I remember coming back in the summer and Coach Smith's office was in the basement and I didn't like that I wanted him to be in the office and I don't like the idea of coach Williams me being in his office I want him to come back I want him to sit in his couches in his chair an office is an office I've had my office for nine years and I've really enjoyed it it's beautiful. It's more than what I need. There's a phone in there. There's a desk. There's a couch. There's a TV. Everything that I need is supplied there. And another thing that I need is the presence of Coach Williams around me. It's just something that I want, and it's just something that I need. Coach Davis, Chancellor, Welba, thank you very much. Very much, everybody. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it on short notice. Have a good day. <laughs>